Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here, and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the new Nkunku card to review today. Not the first, not the last time we're going to say that, because Nkunku has been getting a lot of cards this year, because to be honest, he's been very, very good. But guys, Nkunku has reached a point where, you guys know me, like I usually don't like the medium-medium work rate in the midfield position, okay? But this card... To the point of the player of the month and this one, I actually enjoy using it now. Like the medium medium work rates with Nkunku is noticeable and it's there, but you don't really care as much. Like you will you will, you will work with it. It's one of those things, you know what I'm saying? It's kind of like with me using the flashback Benzema and working with his low passing and dribbling with the physical aspect of him, right? Like the flashback Benzema card is really good and Nkunku has kind of gotten to that point where he's really good too. And I feel like this card is going to be very similar. But with Nkunku, we are taking a look at a card who is 5'10", medium, medium work rates, right-footed, 4-star skills, 3-star weak foot. Uh, In-game player traits, he has the finesse shot traits as well as the outside foot shot traits, which, to be honest with you guys, is actually super noticeable because his shooting is way better than I initially thought it would be. And I think it's because of the decent area for shot power, finishing, attacking, positioning, long shots, right? Base card stats for pace is set up really nicely because with a card like Nkunku, uh, you can either give him the shadow chemistry style or the anchor chemistry style. I understand why people give him an anchor chemistry style because on an anchor, you give him that extra aggression, extra strength. But look at the difference for interceptions and sliding tackles when you give him a shadow, right? That extra is something that I like to work with because Nkunku being 5'10", which in FIFA, I don't know what it is, man. 5'10 is such a good height. 5'10 with a lean body type with dribbling stats like this now, okay? So that on a shadow, working with the pace on the dribbling stats, on the body type with a 5'10 height, I feel like I want him to have as much pace as possible so I can use him as well as possible for that defensive aspect, right? So that's why, for me, I would probably give him the shadow anyways. Uh, the base card stats is already very, very good as well. If Nkunku was a high, high work rate player, oh my goodness, the meta in this game would be crazy. But even still, it has gotten to a point where I would work with the medium, medium, right? And then last but not least, for physical stats, uh, the strength, he has a little bit of strength. But again, he does have a lean body type. But it's the 85 stamina that, again, is a good cutoff for this card. Now, the cool thing that I like about this variation of Nkunku and the player of the month is that I actually like the concept of this card because he's a right forward, right? And I don't think it's like EA Salt when it comes to stuff like this because in real life, he probably actually plays right forward. And then for his player of the month, they gave him a cam card, right? But I like that you have two different positions now for him, right? So let's just say, for instance, you want to line up with a midfielder but you don't want to line him up in the middle of the pitch. Like, let's just say you want to do like a 4-5-1. You can now use this Nkunku card playing as a right mid or a right wing, and you just need that one link to work with, right? So I really like the concept of him being a right forward at this price range, to be honest with you. I actually got him for lower. I think it's for 175, I think, right? For now, 176. But yeah, he's going up because nighttime reviews and then, you know, going into the daytime. But yeah, in-game, guys, we are going to be trying Nkunku. Again, mainly in the midfield position, seeing what he's like defensively, seeing what he's like for some attacking opportunities. Again, with midfielders, you just want to test them out mostly defensively and sometimes attacking-wise if they do get into the space, right? So uh, we'll see how he performs. Hopefully, he's a beast. Almost got that with Nkunku. In Kunku's card, guys, like I'm, I'm not crazy about the medium medium work rates. Like you guys know this, but within Kunku nowadays, man, with the upgrades that he's received, it's almost like it's worth using the medium medium on him because he just plays really nicely. Like the boost that they've given him with the lean body type and stuff has been pretty crazy. Nice job, in Kunku. Yeah, it, he's gonna be like this in Kunku card, guys. After all the upgrades that he's received, I'm telling you, like. I would actually use his medium medium at this point. I really would. I, I think he's actually like a freaking beast. And this is all personal preference based because if you don't care about the medium medium at all, like you should have used him a long time ago, let's be honest. A green time shot there too. A crazy power on that and accuracy. See, even a weak foot pass comes off great with him. First time touch and go, lean body type.
Oh, and Kunko, you beauty. Never a foul. No chance. If the ball's in front, especially, like, it should just be yours, you know? It's weird. Yeah, like, his his medium-medium work rates, guys, like, the stats that they've given him, it just... It, it almost feels like it doesn't matter anymore, you know? Like, I like the Nkunku card a lot nowadays. Like, even the Player of the Month card, uh, this card, it, they're, they're good cards now, man. His transition speed is so much faster now, man. Like, the, not now, but, like, it's because of that lean body type, the pace stats, the dribbling, the way that it's set up, like... The thing with Nkunku, like I said, like you still notice the medium medium. If it's a personal preference, I'd rather not have it, right? Like I'd rather have like something that's more specific, like a high high or a medium high. But like I said, I would just work with it nowadays. At all with the defensive work, but that explosiveness with uh, Nkunku is great. Nice animation again. Oh, maybe a foul? Uh, the angle is a little bit off there for the roulette, for the consistency around the player. Look, he doesn't get the ball there, but the animation choice is good. Like, that's the important thing. And then I get that one from the aggressiveness. Let's go. Ah, oh, beauty and possession base too. Love that. Position well for the interception there. Oh, nice, and Kunku. See, even right there, you can see that the high medium work rates, he actually makes that run. Well, dabber. Touch. Shoot. Nice. And Kunku getting involved there. Beauty. And Kunku again, man. Heart's sick, man, I'm telling you. Well done, Nkunku. Just hold all trigger there, too. I mistimed that, but that pass by Nkunku was disgusting. That was so well weighted. Wow. And they and they gave us the passing SPC. Oh, when this one exists now on the market for 170k. Go on, Kunku. I'll position again there within Kunku. Nice. Nice, and Kunku. He's been great, guys. Honestly, I've been enjoying this card a lot. Lagrand switch with the strong foot. Oh, that was a good snatch in the air, too. So helpful that he doesn't, like, lose possession of that. Like, Ron switch with him here, too. Let's go. Okay, guys, so final verdict on the new Nkunku card. So in regards to how he performs in-game, guys, uh, we decided to give him the Shadow Chemistry style to kind of test him out in that pace and defending department. This Nkunku card, guys, it was like I'm trying to say earlier, you notice the medium-medium work rates, but it's honestly so worth working with it. I'm telling you guys, this Nkunku card in a two midfield setup, a three midfield setup, he's actually really, really nice to work with. I love it now. At this card, it's kind of the same as like the player of the month. And it's cool that both of these cards exist now because with the team of the group stage card, right? He's a right forward. So he gives you that chemistry link if you want to line up with attackers in your midfield setup. So again, like I was saying earlier, if you do a 4-5-1 setup and you link him with I don't know, someone like Mukiele, even in a 4-3-3, because Mukiele is a right back that who, who's French, right? If you guys don't know who I'm talking about, it's this card right here. This card right here is actually pretty solid. He surprised me of how decent he actually was. The dribbling is a little bit rough to work with, but other than that, you give this card a shadow chemistry style, it's a pretty solid defensive player. But that's something that you can work with in that right mid area, even in the 4-3-3 area, if you want to get links elsewhere. So the concept of him being in a different position is phenomenal but the performance in game guys 
is so good, okay? Because everything just bounces off each other really nicely. Shadow chemistry style to increase acceleration and sprint speed as much as possible while giving him really high, <clears throat> excuse me, defensive stats with the dribbling stats as it is. Five foot 10 height, which is amazing as a cutoff in FIFA. Lean body type. It's so nice to work with. Transition speed is fast. On the ball, he feels great. Passes come off really nicely. It'll be a little bit less consistent if you hit it on his left foot, obviously, because it's a three-star weak foot. But on his strong foot, man, he hits really, really nice, well-weighted passes. So if I were to use him in a 4-4-2 or a 4-2-3-1, I would actually genuinely enjoy using this card. My boy Matthew was actually sending me a, his team that he was using for the 4-2-3-1 tactics that I actually set up recently. And he was using, I think it was like the flashback Conte and Kunku. And that would be a pretty decent link up to work with if you actually want to go with that. But yeah, and Kunku has now reached a point, guys, where I would sacrifice the medium, medium work rates to actually put him in a team. I think he's that good nowadays. Like I felt the same way with the player of the month. Like I said, you still notice it. It's not a personal preference of mine, but I would work with it. It's the same thing as, as like me getting the flashback Benzema card on my main account. And his dribbling you have to work with because he's a physical type striker and also his passing but it's worth it because of the other variables that he adds to your gameplay so it's great man because you know if i were to go to <coughs> excuse me <coughs> if i were to go to the uh bundesliga here and i search that specific position you don't have any players that you can rotate into the midfield position right and even on a shadow chemistry style a card like this guys you can use as a right mid in a 352 it doesn't have to be a cdm or a center mid um i mean you can even line him up line him up as a right back if you really want to but obviously the midfield position is definitely going to be the most ideal area for him but um yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed this review today i can't get this case card guys he's still extinct so it's gonna be <clears throat> excuse me i have a bad dry cough early in the morning but um, yeah, I enjoyed using the Nkunku card. I think the price range for him, honestly, is really, really good for what you can work with, especially with those French links, man. There's so many things you can do. But um, yeah, hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.